Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the difference between warm germination tests and cold germination tests. If you ever buy a bag of seed, if it's lawn seed or corn or soybean seed that you might plant on a farm, you're going to see a germination percentage. That's a great tool. You want to know, if I plant 100 seeds, how many of them are going to grow? Well, let's just say you see 90% germination on the, the seed bag. What does that really mean? Will 90% always grow or just under certain conditions? All right, so this is where the temperature comes in. The temperature that they run most warm germination tests at is 77 degrees. Now, the other thing about this is a seed can sprout, it can germinate, but if it doesn't appear normal, it can be considered abnormal. So let's say that the sprout doesn't grow the usual way that it should. They will discount that seed. They'll say, hey, that's an abnormal. So what I'm saying here is with a germination score, we're looking at three different things. Number one, they're going to do it in a cold test. That's the cold one that I want, 77 degrees. I want the 50 degree test for cold. Then they're going to look at, does it live or die? Okay, if it lives, then we have to see is it normal or abnormal. So a seed is only going to pass a germination test if it is normal and it lives. This seems pretty complicated, <laughs> right? Now, if you're just planting a lawn and it's going to be the summer, you aren't going to have any problem. You can really just trust that warm germination test that was run at 77 degrees. And if it says 90, you're probably going to have 90% of the seed pop up or maybe even a little better. Uh, what Brian is getting at with the abnormals is sometimes there's seed that just, it doesn't grow as fast as the others and it gets called an abnormal and it doesn't count in your germination score, it might still grow. It might. And we saw that this year. We had some really good growing conditions and warm temperatures in a lot of areas where, hey, they had 90% germ seed that 95 or 98 of them grew. Well, that's awesome. Sometimes you get that bonus. But seed companies are required by law to include a warm germination test. They aren't required by law to include the cold germination test that Brian was talking about run at 50 degrees. So here's the reason why we're talking about this today. If you're thinking about planting anything early, I don't care what crop it is, and you look at the germination score, you're going to go, oh, I should be fine. Well, no, not necessarily. What you need to do is get the seed in early and test it yourself. Have it tested for a cold germination score and see how it turns out then. Well, there are a lot of tests that seed goes through before it's approved for sale and you're going to plant it wherever you're putting it in, a lawn or a field. But you do want to look at that germination score. We just wanted you to understand a little bit about how that number is developed. Hey, and the last thing I wanted to say is I would love to be able to plant all my seed when the weather is warm, when the soil temp is warm. That sounds great in theory, but the problem is, just think about this for a second, 77 degrees is the warm germination test. 77. Do you know when my soil temp hits 77 on average? It's around the 4th of July. At least a month, month and a half after hopefully I'm all done planting. So it's not realistic and that's why we love the cold germination test as well. well. One thing I hope doesn't germinate this year is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 